So right now I have with me the father of Jordan. Jordan's 14 years old. Have you talked to Jordan and out not talking to people? About, yes, not to get him cars, not to talk to Just strangers. Just like all over the board, like yes. don't talk to anyone since he was little? Yeah. He thinks you're going out for a dinner or something today? With some friends, I'll be with some friends for dinner. Okay, so right now I'm going to text him and see if he actually gives the address. I'm going to say, what's your address? So I could come pick you up. What's your address? No, is this your address? Look at that. He, he, I'm gonna kill him. This is your address? It's my address. I'm actually gonna have Matt over here playing as the father of Amanda. So he, hopefully, he's gonna convince him to get in the car. So right now, I'm gonna say, my father will come pick you up. He said I'll be ready in five minutes. Let's go drive over there right now. Oh God. Hey little buddy, I'm Amanda's dad. Hop on back. Where's Amanda? She's at home, didn't she tell you I was coming? Yeah, but something about this doesn't kill her. It's all right, come on back, I got you, don't worry. So right now I'm here with the mother of Thomas. Thomas is 12 years old. Have you talked to Thomas about not talking to strangers online? Oh yeah, several times. You have talked to him. So. You never had a problem in the past with him talking to people online or that he doesn't know? No, never. Well, we've been talking for 12 hours. He actually was very persistent to meet up, but we only, we only had the setup ready with the house and the cameras uh, a couple hours ago. So now that we're here, um, he thinks that you left for uh, like a dinner with one of your friends, one of your girlfriends? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, so um, I'm gonna text him right now that he can come. So I just sent him the address right now. Oh, he said, be there in 20 minutes riding my bike. I'm gonna say, just come inside because I will be in the shower. Hey guys, you just saw some pretty powerful videos of some young people who made a series of bad decisions. You didn't see all of their decisions, you only saw some of the decisions and they were the ultimate final decisions where they met up with someone that they shouldn't have been. One boy screamed out, help me, help. Another one said, who are you? And the person answered, a man, duh. We're heading into a time now where we're going to work on some safety and security you guys are on technology a lot you're on it all day long here at school and sometimes we can sort of monitor what you do here at school but when you're not in school we want you to make a series of great decisions not bad ones there's too many people in your life that love you your family all of us here at the middle school and if you make a bad decision somewhere along the way it might seem unreal but you might find yourself in a position like what you saw those young folks right there so as we go through, we're going to be using a website called sos.fbi.gov. I'm at the website right now. I'm going to show you just a little bit about it. We'll do an activity with it today. Remember that the technology that you hold in your hands, you can meet people all over the world with it. And sometimes they may not be who you think they are or who they say they are. Safety and security. The safety part is you, the person your body, your physical well-being. We don't want anything bad to happen to you. We want you to be safe at all times. Security, so the security piece has to do with like your accounts. You might have a bank account. 
Um, someday you might have credit cards and debit cards. Protecting those things, protecting your identity. You may have heard of identity theft or phishing. Those are some things where we'll work on a unit where we deal with security. So there's the safety piece and the security piece. Please make good decisions. We're relying on you to be safe, and we want to make sure that we help you learn how to do that every step along the way. We're creating a new slide six. There's three things that you may or may not be familiar with, with how to um, make some adjustments and get this slide looking the way that you want it to. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the title. The title says technology, safety, and security. And if you looked on the previous part of the video, you saw that we also had one other thing. Now, the font size that I've used for the title is 32. I've changed the font size just a little bit. I'm going to place the insertion point after the title. I'm going to press enter. It goes down to the next line. If I type something in here, it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit. So I'm going to change the font size for my new typing to 16. It's going to be half the size of the 32. And we're going to type in the name of a website here. It's called sos.fbi.gov. sos.fbi.gov. What we're going to do is we're going to make that a link so that if you wanted to, to get to the website, you'd be able to click on it. I've selected sos.fbi.gov and I'm coming to a button on the toolbar called insert link. When I click on insert link, it wants me to paste a link or search and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type that same thing in here, sos.fbi.gov. When I click apply, that's now a link. I can click on it or if I'm in present mode, it'll be there. So one of the things that you need to do is you need to have the title Technology, Safety, and Security with this link, sosfbi.gov. Another thing that I'm going to show you at this time is how to make your fill color for the title uh, be that cool looking one that you saw. We're going to go into the fill color as we usually would. So I've selected the title box. I'm going to go to the paint bucket where it says fill color. Instead of choosing a solid color, we're going to go to gradient. Many of you might be familiar with some of the gradients that are available. We're going to go and we're going to set what's called a custom gradient. So we'll click on custom. Now, they have, uh, Google always gives us two different colors that we can put in for a gradient. And I'm moving my pointer along a slider scale. When you guys do this, you'll be able to click on these and see. We're going to have four colors as part of our gradient. These can be in whatever order you want. We're going to have red. So not, you'll see this first gradient stop is set for red. I'm going to click on add and a new gradient stop appears. And I'm going to slide that over so it's about one fourth of the way across. Another color that I'd like you to have is blue. I'm going to click on add. It adds a third gradient stop. Another color that we'd like you to have is orange. And finally, they already have this one here. All you need to do is click on it so it's selected. And a fourth color is yellow. And again, those four colors can be in whatever order you'd like them to be. There's linear gradients. Right now it's set for angle 90 degrees. You guys can play around with these and get the different looks. And there's one other type of custom gradient that's not linear. It's called radial. When you click on it, you'll see different uh, types that are available. It's center by default. And again, you guys can look at these for different ones. I always kind of like that look of the center one. When I click OK, I have my custom gradient fill for our title. The third tip that you might not be sure of on how to create the spaces that's going to hold some information here you probably are aware that you can go to insert table. We're going to use a 4x4 four four table again. This instruction is at Schoology. It's going to tell you to insert a 4x4 four four table. I'm going to allow you to do an adjustment of the table size like what we usually do. We use the dot handles to stretch it out across the rest of the slide.
But now we're going to adjust the table so that the cells of the top row and the third row are not quite as big as the cells in the second and the fourth rows. Here's what I'm talking about. If you take your pointer and hold it over the line that I'm holding it over right now, you'll notice that it turns to a double arrow. If I use my mouse to click and drag this line up to right about there, you'll notice that the top row of cells becomes smaller. I'm going to do it with this line also. I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to click and drag that line up. And it tells me when it's in the same position as the other one. When I let go, you'll notice that. Now, when we make that adjustment, the whole table becomes smaller. Can you predict what we need to do to get it to fill up the rest of the slide? If you said simply go to the dot handles and click and drag it back down to the bottom of the slide, you would have been correct. And you'll see that we have a table, but the cells are different size. Now for this table, I'd like you to choose a line color that's somewhat dark. I'm going to use a dark purple color. And I'd also like you to thicken the borders for the table. Something like 8, and you could use 12 if you want. Remember, our goal is to get to where our slide looks like this. You may notice that I got two more additions here, and the next part of the video is going to show you where those come from. A website that we're going to use for technology safety and security is called sos.fbi.gov. On my bookmark bar, I have a bookmark for it, and it would be awesome if you guys would go to the website and have a bookmark set for it as well. When you land at it, you're going to be at a screen that looks similar to mine. I'm going to scroll down, and uh, actually in different grade levels, you may have seen this before, depending on what school or what teachers that you've had in the past. We're going to go to sixth grade. And again, with some scrolling, you'll notice that there's some numbers on here. There's going to be seven activities in total that we're going to do. Uh, today, for today's lesson, I'm just going to ask that you do the first two activities. I'm going to go into the activity, number one, and be sure to read the words. There might be a test over this, and if you don't read the words, you might not be sure uh, what's going on here. So when you click on play, you're going to go through, and I'm not going to do this whole thing, but it says if you see something inappropriate on the web, you should either tell no one or report it. I'm going to click on Report It. When I click Submit, again, they're going to give you some valuable information. If there's a test, these words might be the answer to the question. Your job is when you get finished with this, you're going to take a screenshot. When you're done, it's going to let you know if you've succeeded or not. And for the first one, you're going to want to have a screenshot that looks like where I'm moving my pointer right now. Underneath Safe Surfing 1, put these labels in with the colors like what I've done. That's going to say, great job. If it doesn't say, great job, you got to do it again. For number two, Safe Surfing 2, when you're finished, it should say, awesome work. If it doesn't say, awesome work, do it again. Don't forget when you're finished to get your screenshots. These are partial screenshots. Put them on your new slide six. Don't worry about doing anything more than one and two today. We'll do a couple more in the future, uh, in the future days, probably two each day.